Restricted. I am Ronaldo Arfar. You guys know me from literally everywhere. I am here today with Kelsey Phipps, Cole Ferrell. Obviously, as you can tell, we're doing a little episode on basketball. First off, first out of the box questions, what is y'all's majors and uh, year here? Um, I'm a freshman and I major in communications. But I'm a sophomore and I major in criminal justice. Nice. Nice. I mean, oh, this is all right. Let's go on to this first segment. Axe talk. You guys already know it. We're going to talk about the season, this last basketball season. So, first question: What did you guys think about your individual performances, and also the team's performance this last season? Okay. Um, this season, really, I just think uh, we got better as time went on. Um, we had a pretty good season, but uh, it didn't end the way we wanted. But I thought it was well. We did break a record for our school. I think we had the most uh, wins, our best start in school history. So that's a pretty good accomplishment. So yeah, I think the team did well. So it was a pretty good season. Go ahead, call. Individually, I feel like as a team individually, we really grew from like start to finish, whether it was emotionally, physically, mentally. We just started to come together. If we had more games, if we could have won, we probably went all the way just because of I could see the roof of us. Like, and it was that. Yeah. Yeah, so, obviously, you guys had a really long season. Who do you think, personally, was the most difficult competition you faced? I guess I think, really give you a challenge. I think uh, when the team played against Eastern Washington, yeah. yeah, that was, they won the regular season, so it was a pretty difficult team. Don't I sleep on NAU, though. Yeah. At NAU. At NAU, 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 NAU was tough. Playing at altitude. Yes. That altitude was crazy. Where, was Montana tough? Because I saw those games. Those were pretty tough. You guys got... Two real good games there. It was, it was closer. But with Eastern Washington, they did. Yeah. They got it. Yeah. yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. So, what do you guys think your favorite game was from this season? My favorite game is uh, when we played Northern Colorado at home. We got a lot of dunks, crazy yeah. fan base. It was a great Northern, game. Northern Colorado. Yeah. Game. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Love, love. Um, I was at that game. That was an amazing game. That was that was a great game. How is that? Um, so individually, what is your favorite moment playing basketball, like this season, individually? Mm-hmm. What do you think? For me, it had to be in NAU. Yeah, in NAU game at home. It was like, it was just electric. And I feel mm-hmm. like that was probably one of the best games I played. So I really liked that one. It was, it was fun. I had a lot of fun in that game. I think for me, it was probably the Portland game, just watching all the guys play. I was a exciting game. Moment. It was a like, crosstown rivalry. I felt that felt really that good. was How do you feel about the final? Like I mean, Ishmael. Made that. that was cool. Oh, so that was he cool. Did. Yeah, he second did. game winner of the season. I think that was too. So that was pretty cool. That was that was insane. That was insane. Um, and so, final the final question: What are you two personally going to prepare to do for next season individually? Mm-hmm. What's your preparation? That's what like. This um, upcoming season, I'm just. Ready to get stronger, better, bring a electric player on the court, yeah. and um, yeah, just bring more excitement to the game, and just finally get to play with these guys. Yeah, yeah I've been waiting. Yeah, this is gonna be fun for me. Just really explaining my game, just getting better of a shot, yeah. getting more athletic, so I can start like getting more highlight plays and having more fun out there. Absolutely, absolutely. So that was Axe Talk. We're gonna take a little bit of a break with this amazing commercial. I'll see y'all. In a bit. Boom. Portland State football is back and coming your way. Catch exciting games at Hillsborough Stadium as we face off against FCS powerhouse South Dakota. Big Sky rivals UC Davis, Montana State, Idaho, and Northern Colorado. Season tickets start as low as $59. Head over to GoVikes.com and claim your tickets today. Vikings football. Hop aboard and help us defend the ship this season. This next segment is beyond the field. Obviously, we talked about basketball, but we're going to get to know these players a little bit more outside of it because, you know, they're also students and people, too. All right. So what are y'all's plans um, after school? Um, after school, I just I want to continue in basketball, obviously. And then after basketball, I want to, like, become a coach, help the youth, and just, like, just where I started, and I understand how I started, so I can just help them and be better, hopefully be better than me. So I just right. want to help the youth, exactly. Love it, love it. That's about, yeah. the, that's about the same. Like, I really want to take basketball as far as I can. 
and one day opened up my own. I really like cars. I want to open up a, a car shop. Really? Yeah. It'd What's your fun. favorite car? I got a go side question. Porsche 911 GT3. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. that's casual. That's, that's casual. total. All right. That's right. total. All right. What color? What color? Oh my mm. god. For me, it'd be like a baby blue. Baby, or baby blue. Like okay. a like a gray. A gray. Gray. gray is violet. I was purple. Purple. It's like a purple. Yeah. Okay. So nice. purple with the purple yellow. Yeah, it's color. I would love that. Mm. Well, kind of get segue into the next question. What is something that most people don't really know about you? They surprised them. I would say most people don't know that um, I like to cook and play video games. That's really you like to cook. Yeah, that's really my two hobbies. Is that yeah? That's for sick. Okay. Mm. I watch anime. Like I'm heavy into <laughs> anime. Like, uh, heavy into okay. Yeah, I mess with it hard. What's your favorite anime? Ooh. It's controversial right here. I gotta go either Bleach. Or 100 x 100. I gotta go either one. Oh, okay. And then, Fear, what's something you like to cook? I like, like to cook. Um, probably steak and lobster. That was my favorite steak thing. Steak and lobster? <laughs> it's pretty easy. Like, yeah. <laughs> People think it's hard just because, like, it's cooking lobster. Food. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Oh, God, interesting, interesting. Mm. All right. So, um, what is, again, we're talking about out of basketball. What's something you like to do outside of basketball? Like, favorite hobby to anything like that? Well, uh, besides yeah, besides cooking, probably gaming, yeah. playing the game, Madden. Madden. Yeah, we uh, y'all do like as a team outside. Oh, we go bowling, bowling laser tag, yeah, laser tag. Bowling. Yeah, we do a lot of team events, especially in the summer. So it's always fun hanging out with the team and going out. Yeah, have cook out sometimes. Mm-hmm. They be fun. Yeah. So obviously, you guys are basketball players. Is there any particular athlete that y'all look up to? Oh wow, my was Kobe. I loved Kobe. Kobe's work ethic. Kobe. Yeah, he was my favorite athlete. I look up to for sure. All right. Um, I don't really have a favorite one. I feel like, um, like Kevin. I am fake Kevin Durant probably because I just, I don't know. He was always just a dog growing up, and uh, that's really it. I don't really have like nobody I look up to in the sports world. Interesting. So okay, that's good take. But I. I mess with Jason Tatum and Brad Beal because they're from Wild Pro. So all right, all right. That's, yeah, I like them. So a little bit of NBA. How do y'all feel about like Minnesota and the Nuggets? I love that series. That's, that's one, of, that's one of my favorite, favorite series. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, right. yeah, cause Ann, it really, they talked about him being like the face of the league. And so yeah, it's I saw, I'm, I be thinking like, am I really watching the new face of the league? It was like Katie. Jordan, Kobe, so LeBron. It was like, it's Anthony Edwards next. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. going crazy. That's great, that's great. All right. Thank you. How you feel about Nikola Jokic getting MVP? Uh, that was that was. It crazy. was. I mean, his Shea. team was good and he was efficient. So I'm like, Shea deserves. Shea that, deserves. Right? Shea deserves. I think he did. He was. He was like. He carried. He carried the team. Like and they're young. And they're they got young. the first. Season. Yeah. And the Nuggets. I feel like the Nuggets are great and they're really efficient. They got a great starting five. Mm-hmm. So just the fact that, like. But he's kind of popular and he's efficient. And he's the yeah, it's, it's yeah. hard to not pick him, I guess. He is tough. Yeah, and, it, and it's insane. Um, so, yeah, thank you. That was Beyond the Field. Thank you guys so much for answering. No questions. problem. Yes, we are going to go to our second commercial break. I'll see you all in a little bit. Peace. Welcome to University Point at College Station. Located at Southwest College, 5th and 6th Ave, University Point is one of many student housing choices just a few blocks away from Portland State University. With a wide variety of amenities such as study rooms, a 24-hour all-access gym, and community areas, students have what they need to stay productive during their time at PSU. Come check out our readily available floor plans like the 4-bed, 2-bath private, or the two-bed, two-bath plan, starting at $579 a month. For more information, visit our website and check out University Point today. University Point at College Station. You've never lived like this. It is going to be heads up. Basically, each of them have a card. It's up to three rounds. Each card has an NBA player on it. They're going to have to guess the player. And they're just going to give hints. You know, you obviously can't tell who the player is. And the winner... Gets this little bag of candy right there. The loser gets that helmet, aka blast. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Yeah. So we are gonna get started. Um, yeah. Really candy units. We're gonna give you like just a couple of hands. Who wants to go first? So I'll go first. No, I'll go first. Go first. So I just gotta grab three. Take your question. Put it on your head. Okay. You have to give him hints. Can't tell who the player is. I'll flip it. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> all right. All right. Um, Here, wait, can you me? Oh, oh, so okay. Yeah. All right, I saw, I saw, <laughs> I, I, 
I saw, saw it. Yeah, like, I saw. So it. before you do, just show it, just like right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. just the car. Flip it upside. Okay. So, so, there you go. Okay, perfect. All right, one there of you the, go. one of the youngest players in the NBA. One of the youngest players in the NBA, Gigi Jackson. No, he got he got drafted like a, uh, a year ago. A he year was ago. eight, but he been a grown man. So he was like sixteen. Luka Doncic, uh, Mount Verde, Kay Cunningham. Uh, um, he played for the uh, Pistons. He played for the Pistons. Yeah, Jalen Duran. Yeah. Jaylen. Okay. 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 Yeah. Wow. Boom. So that was easy. That was good. Right, now yeah. other side. Other side. Your turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. I bet. Bet. That's the call. Oh, okay. This is easy. Oh, that's easy. Okay. This is really easy. Wait, 4K. Just sh- play oh, to like. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. This is right. real easy. Uh, he do this celebration. Uh, he started. Oh, D-Lo. yeah. D'Angelo Russell. Oh my God. Yeah. That was easy. Okay. So that was uh-huh. one question. Yeah. That's one point to him. All right. Okay. That was too easy. That was easy. So make it a little tougher. Now it's the second round. You can get okay. five hints. Five. Hints. Five hints. Right. If you don't get it, you don't get a point. All right. Let's do that. Come on. All right, can you see that one one? Y'all oh. can see it. You can see it. show. The, yeah, y'all see it. Y'all see it. That's easy. <laughs> okay, okay, go. It's easy. easy. He gets. His, he's the. He's the number one pick, but gets no media coverage. <laughs> the number one pick gets no media. No coverage. media. Coverage. None whatsoever. And he was in the playoffs. He just first time taking taking Orlando. Right. Paulo Bancaro. There you go. Okay. It was easy. Yeah, he's easy. Right, look at me. Number right. one yeah. pick. Two no points. Love. Two points. That is true. He he said he deserves my love. Your turn. Oh, pick two. Pick two. Oh, okay. Show the camera. Easy. Not put up to Jesse. Oh, this is easy. Oh, that's the easiest one. I think that's the this easiest one. This is easy. Here, okay. Alien, number one pick. Oh, Wendy Allen. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, these are easy <laughs> cars, man. Okay. Okay. Now, for this final round, it's 2-2 two, two tied up. Okay. Right. You guys are going to get three hints. Three, three hints? That is right. it. Okay. Three questions. Just three. Just three. Okay. Okay. I just need one, for real. <laughs> oh, this is easy. All right, y'all see it. Y'all see it. His all right, first hit. Yeah. He got three brothers. He has three brothers? Yes. That's one. Drew Holiday. <laughs> you got two more, you don't know it. Or the one. His other brother played for Chicago. Played or played? Plays. Well, he oh hasn't played gosh. in a long time because he been hurt, but he played for Sky. Oh, Lonzo Ball. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Okay, yes. ball, yes. ball boys, ball boys. Right. Well, boom. Okay, here. I think, Dom, we can do one more. Oh, it was, do it. It's me. Okay. Yeah, it's your turn. I bet. Again, three. Mm-hmm. Oh, final yeah. one. Just, this is just Dang, I'm sorry. You're not going to get this. Who is? <laughs> he was, uh, he played in Orlando. Oh my gosh, this is the hardest one. Played? He plays in Orlando. Okay. That's why. Um, yeah. He was in the Hustle movie with Adam Sandler. That's two. And him and his cousin play on the same team. That is true, though. You have one guess. That, that was the best hint I can give you right there. Him He's the main character? From, uh, no, it's not the main character. Him and his cousin are on the same team, Orlando Magic. Same team, Orlando Magic? Yeah. They have one guess. That's, that was the best hit I can give you. got nothing. I have nothing. No clue. No Final clue. answer? Nothing? Nothing. No clue. Who, who is it? It was Franz Wagner. Yeah, and that. I wouldn't get it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. that was pretty fun. Yeah. Done one. That was easy. Super easy. Well, good game, so. Yeah. Me. Good game. You get the candy. You get the plastic hat. I know you can. Yeah, if you want this hat, no I'll take the candy. That's for sure. I want the hat. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was the show. That was Vikings Unscripted. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for playing. No problem. You loved it. Loved it. I'll see y'all in the next episode. I'm Ronaldo. It's been a pleasure. Peace.